Hi everyone, my name is Abdul Rahman Sadiqi, aka Pakistani Pepper. I'm a doctoral student, high school teacher, and a certified tech educator. What that means is I basically use technology to try and enhance education in subjects not normally associated with digital knowledge. One of the ways that we can use technology in the classroom is to make traditional presentations or papers more interesting for students. We can also appeal to multiple types of students in this manner. One tool that allows us to engage our students or our listeners in our presentations is called My Simple Show. It's a website that allows us to take a written format of presentation and actually use it to create something that's a little more visual, almost like an infomercial. So today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to use My Simple Show so you can make your presentations look nicer and create something that you are more invested in or if you're a teacher, your students are more invested in. So let's head on over to the computer and find out how we can use My Simple Show to create a visually appealing presentation. Begin by going to google.com and typing in My Simple Show. The first website is the link we want. In the top right corner, click on Log In. I chose to sign in with my Google account. At this point, the website should take you to the page of videos you have already created, which you presumably will have none. Click on Create New Video and type in the title of your videos. At this point, you should see a list of projects that you can make for different purposes. We want the educational suite, and I'm going to pick Explain a Historical Event. At this point, assign title to your project again as the opening statement. Notice on the right side, they actually give you examples of what to type. In this video, I explain the Great Depression. For the next section, it tells you to provide the historical context. Again, it gives you an example, and this time I can use the research that I've conducted from the History Channel to populate that information. Don't do this on the actual project. This is plagiarism. This is just for demonstration purposes. But again, as you can see, it provides you very clear information on what you should be putting in each section of your video. After populating all the text, you would say choose visuals, and the written part of your presentation is essentially done. Now, the software has created a visualized version of my script. And here I can click on the individual terms that they have visualized to make any desired changes. Notice how it gives me several options for each word it has visualized. The 1920s have been visualized by this car with two people standing next to it. The US economy has been visualized by a badge the term expanded by that sign, the nation by a flag, if I wish to trim this I can cut it out but I didn't need to. Now the Roaring Twenties I don't want a repeat image so I have several options here. One I can go to another tab and download a video. I can 
write it out using the ABC button, text input, I can search for it within their database for Roaring Twenties. But as you can see, none of the options are really that accurate. So I'm actually going to go to Google Images and I'm going to find an image that I believe um, explains the Roaring Twenties nicely enough. Here, this image I like, so I'm going to save it onto my computer. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to upload that image to the website. And voila, that Roaring Twenties image is now there. I can continue like this for essentially every section of the script making changes in any words that I want, going back to the script, using the little pen button on top of the written section, and basically deciding that I am now ready to choose the audio and finish the video and typing section of my project. Now the software is giving me the option to select different voices in the free version only one is available. And it's giving me a bunch of other options such as adding recordings, adding music, again, all of which is available in the premium version. So for now we have Paul as our narrator. One thing that I can change, however, is the video speed. If I want a faster infomercial video, I can keep it at fast, medium, or slow. I prefer fast only because there's a lot of text anyway. Now it's going to allow me to play a preview of the video. As you can see, it is now generating my video. Again, at this point, I can decide if I want if the speed is sufficient or if I want it to move a little bit faster. I chose to move it faster, but again, for your students or for your presentation, the medium or even the slow might be more appropriate based on what you're typing. Click out and click on the top right corner where it asks you to select your privacy settings and video quality. For free, only public and standard definition is available. Click OK. And at this point, it's going to start generating your video. As you can see, it's still giving me the option to edit the video should I choose. And it also gives me the actual link for the video after a few minutes passing, I paste that link into my web browser, and now my video is ready. Depression. Throughout the 1920s, the U.S. economy expanded rapidly, and the nation's total wealth more than doubled between 1920 and 1929, a period dubbed the Roaring Twenties. The stock market, centered at the New York Stock Exchange on Wall At this point, you can edit the video if you wish. And you can also, once you're done editing, go down and upload the video to My Simple Show or your personal YouTube channel. Downloads are paid. And that's it. In just a few minutes, I was able to take my written presentation and create it something visual using the words that I have already typed and researched. Notice how this is not an easy assignment. It still requires a lot of thinking to meet the requirements of the template, 
but at the end of the day, it creates something that's a little more dynamic than your traditional PowerPoint presentation. Hopefully this will work in engaging your students or yourself when you're trying to create a presentation. And if you want to create a presentation without any artistic skills like myself, this should be a good guide. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in down below and I'll be sure to try and address them. And if you have any other tools you would like me to go over in tutorial format, please let me know. This is Pakistani Pepper saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.